First we're going to do is take the beef stew meat and brown it off. Put a little oil in there. And after we brown the meat, then I'm going to put the vegetables in here. And after I cook the vegetables for a few minutes, we're going to add the stock. Chicken stock, beef stock, vegetable stock, whatever stock you like, but not fish stock. And then, sorry about my girls, you see something outside. This will cook for an hour, and then we'll add the barley. Oh, did you not notice that somebody forgot to cut up the beef? Because you can't have, well, you can have big chunks of beef in the beef barley soup, but I like to make everything about the same size. The barley is small, the beef should be small. And now we are going to add the vegetables. Small dice or a small brunoise. Somebody's going to complain that I use the word brunoise. But you know what? I don't really care. And as far as the mushrooms, I'm going to add the mushrooms later. They don't take long to cook. And that's what I'm going to do. So we have this. Wet this up. I'm going to put in, if you have some bay leaves, put a couple of bay leaves. But I, my bay leaves are pieces are too small and I don't want to put them there. So I'm going to put in some ground bay leaves. Don't have to worry about picking them out. Just like that's about a quarter of a teaspoon, which I will write down, and where's the time? I always put time in barley soup. Not a lot. No, we have more later. And like I said, the stock, since it's beef barley, it should be beef stock. Ooh, that's hot. But if you don't want beef stock, you can put the chicken stock, vegetable stock. And today I'm using, don't bang, people get annoyed. But that's how you work in your own kitchen. The uh, chicken stock onion, it's not bad. Of course, fresh is better. But I cook too many, I make too many recipes that I have to keep running a, a pot of fresh chicken stock. So this is going to add I don't want this recipe to be very long, so like I said, I'm going to put this in the stock, I'm going to put a lid on it, and I'm going to simmer it for an hour. And uh, oh, isn't that cute? It gives you a picture of the ingredients that are used to make this like on the side here chicken 
onion, celery, I guess that's parsley, no, that's carrots, and some herb, bay leaf, and whatever. But this is nowhere near as good as a fresh stock. Nothing is. So we'll count. And I didn't want to use a beef stock because that's darker than the chicken. And look at the color already from sauteing the beef. So that's dark enough. Simmer this for an hour and then we'll continue. Now I'm going to add the barley. This is medium barley. Which means the pieces will be nice and large. Well, I don't mean nice and large, but you can see the, the size that they are here, where the small barley is only a drop larger than this. Now, we're going to add another quart of stock. And I'm going to set the timer now for an hour. No, actually 50 minutes. And we'll see if the beef is finished also. I know the barley will be done. Forgot the mushrooms. Now we add the mushrooms. And there we go. Your favorite mushroom, I would recommend the white button because they have the best flavor. That's my opinion. It's been two hours. I tasted the beef, the beef is cooked. The barley is done. So isn't that a good thing? Now, we have to add some more liquid, and it doesn't have to be stock, because there's two quarts of stock in there, you know this is reduced, so it's strong. Just add two cups of water, and we don't want a thin barley soup. We want it to have nice thickness to it, like a... Uh, a minestrone where if you put your spoon in the minestrone it's supposed to stand up this is what I like enough stock but lots of everything else the color is good and I'll let you know how many quarts this makes so what you gotta do now is taste it we didn't season it at all because it's a soup you can season the soup at the very end not like a steak where you have to season it first the flavor is there from everything and that's without salt so you know when you add salt to this, it's going to bring the flavor out even more. So we're going to add, this is a, a tablespoon measure. And that's a half a tablespoon. And then we're going to stir this up. And also, pepper. Pepper you do to taste. If you like a little hotness, then you add the amount you like.
Okay, so I said that was enough liquid, but it's not. So we're going to add another cup. Because when it sits in the bowl, you want to see that there's liquid in there also. For me, I always put carrots in when I make a barley soup. Color, flavor, another taste. Look, I'm double dipping. Guess what? The soup is mine. Belongs in my house for me and my wife. That is so pleasant and smooth. Add some chopped parsley, scallions to it when you serve it and everybody will enjoy it. Enjoy.